Hi, I'm James Brundage with Start Automating, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about Select XML and how it makes namespace queries in XML easier. Select XML lets you do XPath queries in PowerShell. It's a built-in commandlet in V2, and it makes a couple of things that are really annoying in XPath really simple. So what we've got here is an Azure service definition file, and what I want you to notice is the XML NS equals sign. And this is pretty common, whether it's the service definition in Azure or the XAML namespace, if you're writing WPF or Silverlight, almost every XML that you deal with in a modern world has a namespace, and this makes this next part really hard. Suppose I wanted to find out just the host header with XPath instead of looping through each one. Well, .NET has some surprises in store. You might be used to select nodes, and that will do this. Nothing. That's a little confusing. What's actually going on here is that unless the namespaces have been set up properly, you cannot use select nodes. I'm not even going to go into the .NET syntax. It's, it's very tedious, but the PowerShell syntax in select XML is really easy, and that's about all there is to this trick. So if you're faced with a case where you want to locate something very specific in an XML that has a namespace, which is about every XML, then what you want to do is you want to select XML-XML, the XML document, namespace, any string you want here, and you just copy and paste the namespace from the XML definition. And then you use dash XPath Azure colon binding. Then we're actually going to go select object and expand out the node, and one more time and expand out the host header. And there we go, those are my host headers. And that's all there is to this select XML trick. I hope this helps. Thanks. Bye.